everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to look at our headline management system known as Class Sequence Management. So you now join me back up in the cab of our Cebus machine looking at our headline management system or our CSM system. So firstly we see underneath the B pillar on the right hand side of the machine we see our CSM switch located here. We have a three position switch with this. Essentially what we have is off, on in the middle position and recording a new sequence by rocking that down to the bottom. So now that we've rocked our CSM switch to the bottom position, we're ready to record a new sequence. What we would see is we would see a solid black circle appear on the bottom of our display here. This now tells us that the tractor is ready to record a new sequence. The next step would be to choose which sequence we would like to record against. So obviously we have four different sequences available to us. We have our dedicated sequence one and sequence two buttons here on the side of the C-Motion joystick. And I generally like to use number one as lifting and number two for lowering if I'm in a cultivation style, for example. So if we think about maybe lifting out of work on our headland, we tap number one, we would see that that black circle would now go hollow so it would become a black ring. It now knows that we're recording against sequence one but it won't start recording until we carry out the first step. So maybe for example I pump my blue spool valve in the positive direction then maybe my brown valve I'll maybe lift my linkage and then I maybe deactivate an engine memory as well. Once I've done all of those steps normally like I would any other time doing it manually, I would then press the stop button alongside our uh, sequence buttons. This would tell the machine that we've now finished recording our sequence. The next step what we would do, if we then find that the sequence isn't quite behaving the exact way we would like it to do, is we can pop into our CSM menu and we can see that if we come down to our sequences, we have our four different sequences available to us. So you can see that sequence number one, we have that sequence that we just recorded. If I tap on my menu icon here, we have the ability to then further edit the sequence and fine tune it to behave exactly how we like. So for example, I can change my timing here from zero seconds to maybe two seconds, for example. If it maybe wasn't the brown valve I wanted, I could change that to any other function on the machine. So maybe, for example's sake, I wanted it to be my purple valve. I can change the sub function, how much oil flow I have and how long that valve pumps for. If I so wished, I can tap on the step, I can delete it or I can insert steps above or below that step as well. So you can see there the sequence is fully editable and we can make it really specific to the function that we're carrying out. If I pop back, I can then see that I can change my parameters to different recording modes. So I have either time, distance or automatic. An automatic is a combination of both time and distance where it changes between the two above and below 1.5 kilometers an hour. So thank you for watching everyone. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.